market mean? What's a free market? How long have you been a person? How long have you been a jerk? Right. How long have you been a jerk? 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 Do what, mate? Grow up. You should, asshole. Grow up. I mean, I'm... I'm trying to find out. I agree well, with the top. I don't find anything. I try to get this drop this jerk. Why don't you grow up and get out of here, please? Who's yeah, equals more war. I agree Thank with you. That. Good. So what I'm saying is, is that the communists were actually at the beginning funded by the same people. They, it, it's all consolidation. That's all I'm saying. Good. Thank you. So you guys don't care about that. It's all just this Good. Above. Thank you. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Thanks. So. You don't care that Stalin killed 59 people. So, yeah. So, go, so go ahead. So, what else? Daddy, so, you don't care. so, who are you? Kill. How many people did you kill? No one. But your ideas killed millions and millions and millions. Capitalism. You're a capitalist. You're a pro capitalist. That's the one, right? She wishes we were dead right there. This is the one? She's the one walking around saying she wishes we were dead. Replay it for yourself. She clearly says that too bad Stalin didn't kill us. So we see these communists down here who say Bush, Kerry, both equal war. And we go, yeah, we agree with you. But why are you for communism? Because communism actually, as Professor Carol Quigley at Georgetown, Bill Clinton's mentor said, was a creation of the big banks to centralize governments and con the people into a movement for the population that was really for the establishment. And they began to threaten to want to kill us. Some of it we got on tape, some of it we didn't. Hey guys, how's it going? Tell us what you think about this. We're members of the Revolutionary Communist Youth Brigade. Tell us what you believe in. man, if you want to talk to us, you got to talk to us. And I didn't like the style in another way. If you want to connect an interview, we can hook you up with our spokesperson. You're not allowed to, to talk yourself? If you want an interview, you should talk to a spokesperson. Well, have fun. So you, so your leaders don't let you talk yourselves? They, they've never been to the Soviet Union, Poland, or anywhere in the Eastern Bloc. Look at them. They're like 18 and 20. Come on. And you got these old... Why don't you talk to some mainstream Americans? Okay. Okay, we know where you're coming from. You're looking, you're looking to, uh, to make people in Lima... No, sir. We're not mainstream media. We're actually trying to just make a documentary about all the different views that are at the convention. And everybody's been real nice to us, but communists, they always flip out when we try to talk to them. So now it is becoming an issue with them because they're so ridiculous. Documentary on all views. You're very biased. Probably work for Fox. <laughs> yeah, probably work for Fox. That's right. Okay, get those. I've exposed George Bush for carrying out 9-11. I've exposed Bill Clinton. They all work for the globalists. And the globalists funded you little people. You guys need to wake up. Sir, a lot of New Yorkers have said in the poll show 80% don't want Bush to have the convention here, but they're doing it. And some people say that he's being opportunistic, uh, trying to associate himself with 9-11. Well, I, I, I disagree entirely. I think this is the perfect venue for Bush to, and the RNC to hold this event. I mean, New York City is a, a world capital place, a uh, big focus um, in New York uh, from the rest of America. And I think it's a perfect venue, irrespective of your party leanings. Have you seen any of the protesters while you've been in town? And what do you think of them if you have? Well, we've seen a few of them. Uh, mostly, of course, they're kept away from the delegates. But to me, they're not New Yorkers. There's people that have come in and are trying to make New Yorkers look bad. There are a bunch of young kids. I'm wondering how many of those that are out there protesting, one, know what they're voting about, what they're protesting about, and two, are they going to even vote when it comes to the, the line? A lot of them are good people and, and have some legitimate issues. And I've seen people who aren't doing anything, whole streets just scooped up and arrested. And then they brought them out to the dock out there in an old condemned building with asbestos, it's admitted, and have 2,000 of them in there, no air conditioning and cages inside a, a kind of a Guantanamo camp. Well, you know, I don't know of any, any of those issues and facts. Um, if you're going to protest and you know there's a lot of security, this is just not the way to do it. Protest in another venue other than this. 
You know, I, I firmly believe in the right to protest, but this is just not a good place to do it. We've, we've had too much problems in this city to bring more problems to this city. This nation was scared to death when those towers went down. The term for it is called waving the bloody shirt. I don't listen to me. Get people I'm dealing with people's emotions rather than their reason. I think they took a advantage of a bad situation. So why are you out here? Uh, I'm from California and helping your documentary. We're here to protest the protesters. We're here to tell them they're just a bunch of uh, leftist ingrates who are taking advantage of living in America. America is free because people have bled for this country. And uh, we want a strong America, much like we want a strong police department, or we're going to have thugs ruling the streets. We want a strong police, which keeps it safe. We want a strong military, which keeps a good country. Yeah, the same Bible, the same Bible that the president is going to put his hand on that says no same-sex marriage. What are you doing hanging around a bunch of right-wing Christians? What, what, what are you guys doing hanging around us? This isn't Berkeley, pal. This isn't Berkeley, buddy. How can they leave the borders wide open but then take our liberties? I'm all for closing the borders. Are you kidding? I'm from California. Our hospitals are costing us $80 for an aspirin because illegal aliens are going into our our, our hospitals. I don't understand what the word is. Well, why hasn't Bush done something? Well, I, I would like to see him do a lot more. A lot more with stopping those people from coming over our borders. I don't know what the word illegal and illegal alien means if we don't stop them. America is a great country. We annihilate our enemies. Would you please get that dog out of here? There are homosexuals here in New York. They're liable to think that's a gerbil on steroids. Let's be more sensitive. Where's PETA when you really need them? If those people are going to be in heaven back there, if those people are the ones who the ones who have armaments on their poster and everything, if they're going to be in heaven, I'm ready to go to hell. This, this New York is a good example, folks, of what you're going to get in your city, this complete control grid, this locked down city where everything is commercialized, whereas you did that bit on your show where they know what you're going to eat before you're going to eat it. You hear about those guys, thought criminals. They're going to blow up something. They have no weapons. Well, and this is the thing, Alex, a lot of these people down here, they want democracy, and it's amazing how they've been conditioned to ask for their own enslavement. They, 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 it's all they know. They don't understand this is a republic. Look at all of this. I mean, you'd think these people were very informed. Explain the difference between a republic and democracy. Well, I mean, basically, the democracy is mob rule. And what these people don't understand is that if 51%, whether they're corporate, whether they're Bushites, whether they're Mexicans, decide their fate, then so be it. That's what they're asking for. We're in New York, ladies and gentlemen, streets are jammed. My friend just called me, and he's right there with Michael Moore right now. Oh, I want 10 minutes. I want to tell me. And I'll, and I'll put it in. Okay, cool. All right, cool. That's awesome. Thanks. Michael Moore is inside there. Now we're going to answer a question. Did Michael Moore expose the truth about 9-11, or did he whitewash it? You know, George Bush has said that anybody that has any connections to al-Qaeda, I mean al-Qaeda, should be arrested. Well, no one has greater connections to the Saudis and the House of Bin Laden than the Bushes. They've been in business together for decades. George Bush actually started his first oil company way back in 1976 with a member of the Bin Laden family and with their funds. The Bushes used